You need to find that cryogel. And take down Freeze. He killed that scientist. Just to spite us. Then, he got away! He said it was Batman's fault. Bruce promised him a cure for his condition. And in return, Bruce is supposed to behave. But I guess with Bruce gone, he's back in the game. What have you got, Tim? Judging from the list of stolen items, I'd say he's looking to upgrade his exosuit. And that's just for starters. He also downloaded local weather balloon data for the past 10 years. Let's go back out there and stop Breeze before he kills anyone else. Yes! Easy, Tiger. We'll get him. Maybe that's enough practice for today. I've set the back computer to monitor the city for high concentrations of cryogel. Meanwhile, we should keep tabs on anyone working for Freeze, which should be easy since he decks out all of his lackeys with cryo guns. Interesting. Uh, do we have anything else for Harley? Probably not. So we'll probably wind up having to... Maybe? I have no idea, to be honest with this. Dash. Finger River? What? I guess it just means that suits are more capable of doing certain things, maybe. Okay. So, what are our goals here? What are our goals? For this? Better take a different way in, like Batman would. Yeah. Oh look, an open window. Axe guide, bubble block coin, sword, darkness. Ooh, that's a nice little Easter egg, actually. Sword cane. Anything else? No. Take it easy. Watch your back. Someone took her out. Uh, uh, uh. 
You regret your choices now. How are you doing that? What was that? That was your these nuts. I'm gonna let him calm down a bit first before I push forward. Hey, where are you? Right behind you. Coming in. That door's sandalwood. Custom job. Fixing it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Yeah, just answer my questions and I won't break anything else. Smile. Viral video of you assaulting reformed citizen is the last thing you need right now. Reformed? Huh. Guess all that time in Blackgate did the trick. Funny how you weren't able to weasel out of it like so many of your pals. Hmm. Someone's done their homework. I want to know who's handing out get out of jail cards. If you really want to go down this rabbit hole, you need to know there's no coming back from it. Never stopped me before. I'm gonna spell this out for you. With the back gone, you're not worth my time. Get lost. Interesting. Back on, you're not worth my time. Belfry, Penguin was a dead end. Whatever he knows, he's not telling. All right, come back to the Belfry and we'll regroup. Bonus objectives completed. What? Talk with Alfred. Penguin kept his mouth shut. 
Batman made this stuff look easy. You may be surprised to learn Batman struggled with similar challenges early in his career. So for a time, he focused his energies elsewhere in the city. When word of his work got out, people were more inclined to cooperate. The city. We've been so wrapped up in Batman's last case, we ignored the rest of Gotham. Gotham may not know Batman is gone, but it certainly feels his absence. There has been a marked increase in gang-related crime. Plus, whatever shit Penguin's up to these days, maybe if we mess with him and a few other crooks, he'll feel like talking. You've also received messages from Lucius Fox and Detective Montoya. They may be able to help. Thanks, Alfred. <laughs> Guess it's time to take a page out of Batman's book. I promise it's an excellent read. <laughs> I like that. Ordered message. There it is. Eight of <clears throat> This is log entry BT one. Alfred has encouraged me to make time for this. A personal record feels meaningless when there's so much work to be done. But he doesn't ask me for much. So... It's been a year since I came back to Gotham. There was always darkness in this city. It used to be insidious. Now it's out in the open. The police ignore violence and embrace corruption. Someone had to do something. Batman felt necessary. A year later, it's clear he is necessary. He's the one who speaks the only language Gotham's enemies understand. Violence and fear. It's working. I'm starting to rein in the chaos. But I need to be more careful. Batman is always on the edge of a knife. If I let him go too far, he becomes one of them. That can't happen. Batman can't kill criminals. He needs to demonstrate a higher standard. As Alfred put it, surrendering to violent impulses is easy. Controlling them is what takes courage. Gotham doesn't need a Batman with blood on his hands. I'm doing my best. But there's always room for Batman to improve. Not all of these criminals need to be hurt. Some of them just need help. <clears throat> Alfred was right. 
this did make me feel a little better. Or at least, I think I understand all of this more. Maybe this record will be useful someday. If I ever have doubts about Batman, Gotham, or any of it. But that's definitely for later. For now, Batman has so much left to do. Mm. I will.